So you look at the stats and, and you look at the numbers, and this is Brave Roy from Baylor. We mentioned him playing for Matt Rule, got drafted by the Panthers. Give me, give me your quick initial thoughts before we get into the tape, Seymour. Well, it shows you that Matt Rule knows the player and he's taking a look under the hood. And Matt Rule's building a culture. He, he wants football players through and through. This guy's a football player from his eyelashes to his toenails. And I think that's what the type of guys that Rule wants to bring in and, and, and sort of get that Panthers program elevated to the next level. Yeah, I think that that's the one of the keys. I did some radio in Charlotte and their the goal for them is to get back to being the Steelers of the South. And this is a type of guy for me that fits into that. You see here, quick first step and that explosion to rip through there, make that guard. I mean, he looked really silly and get into the backfield. You know, it's interesting because as much as he fits the culture, you got to remember they're running a 4-3 defensive scheme. This guy seemed like a two gapper. He's a massive man at 6'1", 330 pounds, but he has a good initial first step quickness that you think, all right, this guy can be a disruptive up the field nose at the next level as we saw him be able to split that double team. Yeah, we see it here again, that quick first step. And I think it's interesting you mentioned 4-3 versus 3-4, and we're seeing so much 3-4 stuff out of him. How he fits at that next level is going to be really interesting because are they going to ask him to play a 3? Are they going to ask him to play that shade? What are they going to do in that 4-3 system? Well, you know, Matt Rule, one of his key buzzwords is positionless players. I mean, that, that's what he wants, guys that you can move around, you know, the kick in and kick out. This guy is big, but he has good first step quickness, but he, he's an athletic man. I, I think that's the thing that you see with the tape. And sometimes you want your big guys to play with more of that massiveness and size and less, hey, I'm a smaller type guy and I'm athletic. But this is a guy that can kind of do both. And I think we're able to see that skill set on the tape. Yeah, I mean, I look at this play, and here he is in the middle of the field, and look at the way he's running. And we mentioned effort with Murchison. Effort's got to go here with, with Roy as well because he does that. And then you question, does he have the power? And look at this play, the way he eats this center's lunch up to go get a tackle for loss. And also how he gets a shoulder pad un under the center and then just rocks him back. This is a guy that plays with great leverage. You can see him uncoil his hips right here and drive this guy straight back. And that's how he gets those tackles for loss. I mean, this is an ascending player. I mean, the way you, you watch him move, he doesn't look like a guy that's over 330 pounds because he moves so effortlessly. And so this is a good get. This is a good get. This is a guy that you think can come in and add some depth to your defensive front. Remember, Joe McCoy is no longer in Carolina. So you still got KK, k Short, who's sort of getting a little longer in the tooth. I think this guy will be a good compliment.